Welcome back to Saving the Cabin. And today is another one of the laser videos because you guys know I, I like to get things done when they're stuck in my head. And I really want to print out the logo, kind of a 3D effect with the laser with some wood. No, it's not cabin wood because I don't have the tools yet to cut thin enough wood. One day, but not quite yet. So I ran to Home Depot to be able to get quarter inch wood. That's nice and pretty. Uh, no scars like the last piece. And again, if you missed the last video, I was given by the company to be able to add some neat touches around the cabin. This Creality laser is called the Falcon 2, and it's the one with the 22 watt laser. And I've already used it once to be able to make the family portrait, but now I really do want to make the logo for saving the cabin to go over the front door. And I want it to have this neat 3D effect with some deeper wood tones. You'll see as I go. And I figured since a few of you have had questions about like details of the laser, I'll kind of use this one as a teaching video about more about the laser that I've figured out. That way, if you are interested in this, since a few of you have actually said you've been wanting a laser printer and engraver, that maybe this will tell you if this is one you want, which I think I, I would pick this one out myself, but I'm a bit biased at the moment but it does have some neat facts about it that I haven't seen on other laser printers when I've been looking in the past. So let me go ahead and point out some of the neat facts real quick of why I like this one better than the other ones I've looked at. So some of the neat features of this one is it does have a key system where you can turn it off and on and no one else can get into it for tamper proof. Also it has an emergency stop button, which I have to say for being a paranoid mom, this definitely helps, especially once the kids are in here, the cats and dog are in here. I may need this. <laughs> but to turn it back on, there's a little twist and it pops back open. There we go. Coming along to the side, this is what separates it from other laser cutters or engravers. This is your airflow adjust. So I haven't really seen any other lasers that have airflow to them. This helps minimize, like, you know how you can get a smokiness of the wood that you see, that brown charring? Um, it's normal to have some of it, but some lasers tend to kind of put off too much. It's almost a smoke. And this, since I'm about to be cutting all the way through, needs to be turned all the way up. And it does kind of give you pointers here on the side that if you're engraving, you want weak airflow, cutting stronger. But at the same time, this program right here has where you can turn it off and on if you don't want it. Of course, I need it since I'll be cutting all the way through. And since there's not any air flowing through and we're not doing a project, it is letting me know that there's no air coming through, which is very nice. It has a fire warning too. So if you end up catching something on fire that you shouldn't be, it's gonna let you know. And if something is going on, like the lens needs to be cleaned or if it's damaged, it also tells you. So there's not a lot of guessing to it. And again, the fact that I have four cats, a puppy, two kids, and a husband. This has one last safety feature that is just excellent. It has a tilt feature, kind of like standalone heaters where if they fall over, the ceramic heaters automatically cut all power to the machine. This does that too. It is going to stop the laser. It's going to turn itself off. So if it gets bumped by rowdiness, it is going to turn itself off and be completely safe to everyone around. So this bad boy came with it too. This is what you put water bottles and tumblers, things like that in, and you can make it rotate so you can print on the side of it, like the engraving. How cool. All right, I've shown you the features that I thought were really cool and what made it distinct amongst the rest of the lasers. So let's go ahead and get cutting and I'll show you the program that I'm using too and the layers that I'm doing to be able to make this. So the program I'm using is called Lightburn. It is one that is recommended to go along with this laser, but lots of different programs will work with it. So let me go ahead and just turn everything on so you can see the image that I'm working with. There we go, saving the cabin, the year, which was suggested by a viewer to put the year on here, so thank you. And there's different layers in here of trees and the cabin's going to be standing up. So they all have to be cut at different times. So I'm going to, Turn the stuff back off. Oop, this one. There we go. And for my first cut, it's going to be just the outline of the trees and the year. So let's cut it out. And for everyone that always asks, yes, I am going to be wearing the safety glasses. And just so you know, I am adjusting all my settings because I am not engraving. I need my 
speed to slow down and full power. And I think I'm gonna have to make at least two passes, if not three. Alrighty, layer number three. Yeah, I forgot to change the settings on this one after I had altered it a bit. So I didn't have enough power, but here we go again. It's working! I already have my cutouts that I'm making for my logo. We've got the pieces stacked. Puzzle soon to come.
All right, that part's done. I just have to take the pieces out of the A and the B and we're good to go, all done. A good kind of rough estimate of what it's gonna look like. First, I have to stain it. That way we can add a little bit more depth to it and then I'll glue it together. Let's stain. And I did go ahead and kind of lay it out. I'm gonna be do my darkest color for the base, a pickling color for the words and the top piece. The biggest back piece is going to be a slightly lighter than the dark color. And then a light wood grain, a little bit darker than pine. Let's see, oak it says, will be for the rim and the highlight piece of the trees. Since I already have dark in my gloves, I probably should have gone backwards and started with the lightest. I'm going to go ahead and do this other dark, and then I'm going to change my gloves. Pretty. <laughs> All right, so the uh, whitewashing on this one doesn't really seem to make a difference. So I guess we're leaving it natural. That saves time. That's pretty. I'm cheating. I know I am. And this piece you can see is very delicate. And I'm putting the super glue away for this part. Just in case I need to be able to move things, I have wood glue. And I know the A connects here. So that is my starting point. All right. All right, back to super glue. Just on the bottom.
goodness. There we go. The 3D logo is done. I'm gonna let it sit here and dry while I do some mommy errands, and then I'll be back in a little bit and show you when it's completely dry. Well, there you go. It is all done. I, I I love it. It turned out great. Even the really small details of the cabin came out perfect. Not a single piece broke off, luckily, because I know it's very fragile. I really can't wait to show you all the other things that are stuck in my head that I can do with this machine. I'm really going to enjoy this. And if you have any questions about using this machine or any other details of what went into this, just ask me in the comment section. I will definitely let you know. And if you are in the market for a laser engraver, highly recommend this one, especially with all its safety features. And I'm not just saying that because they did gift it to me. It really is the bomb. See you later. Bye.